While enhancing your drawings, you may be stacking moldings. You can do so using the drag and drop menu. On my plan, I would like to stack moldings on the left-hand section of wall cabinets and on the right-hand section of wall cabinets. Most of your brand-specific catalogs will give you two different ways of doing so. And on the left, I'm using a modified version of a brand-specific catalog. If I were to drag moldings over and snap them one on top of the other, and let me give you an example of that. Let's say that we take a piece of square molding and drag it and we drop it on top of a wall cabinet. It'll ask what cabinet to attach it to and I'll say the wall cabinet and you'll see that my moldings snapped and went all the way around all the cabinets that are connected. Let's take a look at the elevation and get a better view. There's my elevation. You can see my moldings. Now, if I want to stack another piece of molding on top of that, I will grab a piece of crown, I'll drag it over, and the most important thing I'm going to do is put the tip of the arrow inside of the previous piece of molding. It's real important that you do that because if you try to attach the molding above it or below it, it's not going to work. You need to put the tip of the arrow inside of the previous piece and let go. And when we do so, it'll say what molding we're attaching it to, the square molding. Now my crown has been attached to my square molding or what I call a solid stock. If I go and take a piece of dental molding and drag it and drop it on the crown, most of your brand specific catalogs are set up so that automatically when you place dentals or egg and darts, they snap into the insert area of your crown. Otherwise, molding snap simply right on top of each other. Let's take a quick look at this. We'll do so by going back to our perspective. I'm going to do a quick texture with edges view, and we'll just pull back from a little bit so you get a great view of your molding. We'll do a nice close-up of our molding. You'll see at the top of the screen, there's our molding with all the details. Let's do this another way. I mentioned before that what we're doing right now is typically set up in your brand-specific catalogs. Well, many of your catalogs are set up to incorporate a feature called auto stacking, where your manufacturers and your suppliers have created stack molding sections for you. They take the most popular stacks that you use in your designs and they place them down here at the bottom already combined together. So if I hold my button down on the crown and dental and I simply drag over to the wall 3630 and let it go, I'll choose the wall 3630 to make sure where it snaps does it all in one grouping. And if we take a quick look again, we'll click view and we'll do another perspective so you can compare side by side the moldings that we've just stacked. Keep in mind when you're working with pre-stacked moldings, if your manufacturer has built a molding like I did on the right with a piece of solid stock, a piece of crown, and a piece of dental, 2020 knows that there are three separate pieces of molding. It's actually keeping count of those and using them properly in your item list.